here we have x plus 2 over 4 minus x minus 6 over 3 is equal to a half. And what we want to do is solve the value of x that will satisfy this equation. The first thing that you need to do is identify the lowest common denominator. So what's the lowest number into which 4, 3 and 2 can go into? And you would know from your previous grades that 4, 3 and 2 are factors of 12. So now that we have the LCD, we can multiply everywhere with the LCD. So the first term I'll multiply with 12, the second term I'll multiply with 12, and the third term or the right hand side I'll multiply with 12. Notice that I have included brackets everywhere or parentheses and what the bracket does, it helps me to remember not to only multiply x with 12 but also to multiply the 2 with 12. So the brackets help me to avoid the mistake of only multiplying x with 12. What we can do now is focus on 12 divided by 4. So I ignore the brackets and I say 12 divided by 4 and that is equal to 3. And I still keep the brackets because I didn't divide out with x plus 2. In our second term, we have negative 12 divided by 3. So this would be negative 4 multiplied with x minus 6. And on the right hand side, we simply have 12 times 1, which is 12 divided by 2. And that answer is 6. Now it's a simpler equation. All that we need to do is multiply out. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is plus 6. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times negative 6 is plus 24. Because a negative number multiplied with a negative number produces a positive value. And all of that is equal to 6. Now we can add like terms together. So that is 3x minus 4x is equal to negative x. And plus 6 plus 24 is equal to plus 30. And that is equal to 6. I would like to move the negative x to the right hand side to make it positive x. And I'll move the 6 to the left hand side to have 30 minus 6. Therefore, x would be equal to 24.